Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and in this video I want to show you an interesting way that I found to defeat Quiet. Uh, this is definitely going to be a lethal defeat, however you do not have to kill her at the end, so uh, this is great for the replay when you try to get Quiet back after you lose her, where you have to do the same mission seven Can times over, mission? which is mission uh, 11 and it'll say replay for seven times as far as I understand and then it'll go to reunion so anyway uh, this is my loadout here and there's a few things to think about I'm gonna be using a heat sinking missile uh, so that's great uh, but this one here uh, this cluster guided missile. Um, I have it maxed out. Well, not really. I don't know if it's maxed out or not. But at the level that I'm at, you can see that its max lock on is 8. And that uh, becomes a problem because it will actually also deal the final blow to kill quiet um, so and I've done that a few times to confirm it so if you want to use this one with clusters uh, then you should step down to the level below uh, or I like to use the killer bee because the it seems like it, it can sense a little farther so it can find her from farther away than the other one. Even though it only fires one shot, it just seems to me that it works better um, just because I don't have to worry about killing her and it picks her up from further away. It just takes a few more shots. So there's my loadout and we're going to go ahead and commence the mission. And then I find that it really doesn't matter what time. Sometimes the nighttime is a little better, but I've fought her in the daytime as well too. It's not it's not that bad either way. Especially when we're using a heat sinking missile, because at least then wherever she is, it is gonna find her and chase her down. Unfortunately, the uh, sandstorm coming in doesn't make it much easier, but you can get an idea right here at least. No matter where you fire, it's going to go directly towards her. So even if you lock on and then move behind the rock like I did to avoid getting shot, it still hit her. Now from here, it's just a rinse and repeat until you defeat her. Now, if I were using the cluster rocket there, um, the dialogue that would come up would be uh, the one where you decided to kill her, basically, and then um, Ocelot, you know, says, well, it was your choice, you know, that deal, because you wouldn't even get the opportunity to, uh, like I'm going up here now, to uh, start the next cutscene to where you don't fire on her and then you stop her from shooting herself. You just completely skip that, and when you arrive up here, it's just a, a dead body basically and you can't do anything so uh, anyway a few other thoughts on this um, you know just an interesting way that I wanted to point out um, other than dropping the cardboard box or dropping the box on her head from a uh, ammo supply drop um, I've seen some people use a tank to do the same thing uh, that gets to be a little more expensive when uh, the more you start dropping in. I understand the more you complete this mission, you start to get negative uh, GMP every time you complete it. So uh, it probably makes sense to uh, do it as simple as possible. Um, so the ammo supply drop is great, and the tank gets a little expensive. But I just wanted to uh, do a little bit of a spin, kind of a different uh, way to get around this particular thing, since you have to do it uh, seven times, apparently, or eight times, apparently. 
So anyway, hope uh, this gave you some ideas. If you have uh, any other cool ways uh, to eliminate uh, quiet, leave it in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.